video. Dr. Dukes here. I just want to basically um, show everyone how to make Dr. Dukes holistic cleansing tea. Um, I'm going to actually show a video of how to make it. So it comes, um, eight bags come in a pouch, which makes four gallons. So it's unlike any other tea that you will ever make, but it's very uh, clean and crisp on its taste. And also it uh, doesn't cause me bloating or gas or I don't have to live by the bathroom by diarrhea it just has helps me to have a smooth move every day so I drink eight ounces in the morning and eight ounces in the evening and using a gallon will last us for a whole week because it's about two or three people in our household so it also comes in capsule form you can get 30 capsules which you only need to take these are extra strength capsules and you only need to take one a day one at night um, and it's, this is good for on the go or if you just don't want to make the tea. But anyway, so what we're going to do is take 32 ounces of water, which I have here measured out, and I'm adding this into a boiler. And then I'm just going to turn on the boiler and let it come to a rolling boil. So once it comes to a rolling boil, I've already made a batch last night. Um, so once it comes to a rolling boil, then here, this is, I let it sit, you can let it sit for eight hours or for overnight. I like to let mine sit for overnight because all the good, the potency of all the herbs get into the water. So as you can see, it's really nice and dark. And so after that, you're gonna take this and take the 32 ounces along with the tea bags, pour it into, a gallon pitcher. Oh, now you see the tea bags. You're also going to pour those in there as well. Okay, leave those in the pitcher until it's all gone. Then basically you're just going to fill it up with another 32 ounces. This is not quite 32 ounces, so I actually got another cup on the side. So fill it up and voila. Then you just cover it up and it is ready to drink at this point. So you can make your cup and I have my glass right here. So you just pour your nice glass and you can see it's really pretty and amber color and it's a clean crisp taste. You can add honey to it if you like to or lemon, but you really don't need to. But again, it's going to basically cleanse the colon and that's it. So after that, you want to just basically refrigerate it. We have a lot of stuff in our refrigerator. We like watermelon problems. Refrigerate it. And then after you saw the tea bags are left in the pitcher. So once it's all gone, the gallon is all gone, you're gonna take those tea bags out and dry them out. So what I do is I put a paper towel on a paper plate set them, you know, kind of wring them out a little bit and then set them on here for about three or four days, turn them over, whatever, and let them dry out. So these herbs are still potent. So what you're gonna do is just open up a tea bag like this. And then you are going to, I have a spice container, pour the herbs, the dried herbs that you just got through, pull it out of the finished container and put it in here and voila. Then I can use these over salads, baked potatoes, vegetables, and you still get the effects, you know, for the colon cleanse. Again, this tea does not cause cramping, bloating, not for me and not for it. thousands of my clients that actually drink the tea. They love it because it just gives you a very smooth move without any cramping or diarrhea. So basically, that's all that there is. It's really simple to make, but it is different. Just make sure you follow the directions that I just gave you. So here's to your health, and I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it.